Well, high winds are blowing across the Southland. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom joins us live in Pasadena with a look at the mess they're causing. Cara. Yeah, and Amy, let's start with this. A number of restaurant owners who've already dealt with so much this past year woke up to find their outdoor eating areas literally blown apart. We are at El Torito. They say these tables, and if we pan over a second tented dining area as well, will not be used until they can be cleaned up and reinforced. But they stress limited indoor and patio dining is already underway today. Felt like a tornado, you know. Brendan Finnegan heard winds howling right before a huge crane being used to light a movie shoot toppled onto his neighbor's home. They raised the boom lift and lowered it to take someone off, uh, the operator. About five minutes later, there was a big loud crash. LA County Fire tells us building and safety inspectors are now investigating and nobody was hurt. Finnegan feels lucky. For most of the night, the crane had been parked in his driveway. Sleep deprived locals captured and posted the fierce gusts. The National Weather Service tells us their nearest sensors clock some at up to 59 miles per hour. Just blocks away from the crane accident, this tree came crashing down onto another Pasadena home. Phil Brunel says it appears only his roof was damaged. We were fortunate enough to have our trees trimmed on a regular basis, and that prevented probably worse damage. In nearby Sierra Madre, another large tree toppled, crushing a parked SUV and blocking the street. And in an outdoor eating area, tents were blown over and fences knocked down. Pasadena's outdoor eating areas got blasted too, and that's led to an unusual pandemic era response. We are out today uh, doing our best to inspect uh, all the tents that the restaurateurs have up. Pasadena Battalion Chief Tim Sells says the city regularly inspects its popular outdoor eating areas to make sure all tents are heavy duty, not pop ups. But he adds restaurant owners need to realize last night's winds could collapse or damage any tent. If we want you to inspect your tents uh, for the integrity of the tent, the poles, uh, the support systems. And those damaging winds seem to have hopscotched across Pasadena. Some blocks look untouched, while other areas like right around San Pasquale and Lotus where that crane toppled, Amy, they were hit very hard. Wow, that wind is so intense in some parts and others. Perfectly calm. All right, Cara, thank you so much.